So uh, Boat Center is a pretty useful program, but uh, has no documentation. So let's take a look at how to do it. So I'm just opening the program up here. Still opening. All right. A um, couple options down the left-hand side here. You can turn off the ley lines. You can choose what kind of boat you want to use, and you can also set what size zone you want. Um, then along the top, the most important options here. This one right here with the, the multiple boats allows you to create a track. So if you click that and then click, it'll add a boat. And if you do a right click around the bow of the boat, it lets you spin that boat around. Then subsequent clicks of that, without doing anything else, if you just keep clicking, it's going to put more boats in um, of the same track or more positions of the same boat on that track. If you want to add another boat in, you go back, hit that button again. Same thing, you can turn the boat around this, add more in, and that's it. Um, for when you want to stop making it so that each click adds a new boat, you click uh, this button here that's depressed right now. You unclick that so that subsequent clicks, subsequent subsequent clicks won't add new boats. Um, now, if I want to say I want to add another boat at the end of uh, the yellow track, another position, I would click the last position on it. So it's now you can see it's highlighted in red, and then go to this uh, option that for the single boat click that one down and now if I click again it's adding more boats on there um, so now I'll unclick this one so that if I click it doesn't add boats just to the right of that one is the button to add a mark um, so if you click it adds a mark and now if you right click on that you can do things like uh, toggle the zone on the mark and things like that um, also if you right click on boats you can make it so they show the overlap lines um, you can also delete uh, you know, one boat, like if I wanted to take out that position, I'd just go to delete selection, um, or I could take out uh, the whole track of boats there. Um, so I'm going to un unclick the mark button. If you want to manually trim the sails of the boat, you'll click on the position. Uh, on the Mac, the keyboard shortcut is shift and then comma or period. So I can, for example, make this guy luff his sails like this or go way by the lee or something like that. Um, that's pretty easy. You can, of course, just drag boats around. Um, I think the newer versions of this program, I have a somewhat older version, allow you to turn off the track uh, between the boats so it would just show each position. Um, up here, we zoom in, zoom out, or zoom to fit. So you might want to, you know, just zoom in so that when you export it from vector uh, to bitmap, uh, it's going to give you a better quality. I'll zoom to fit again here. Now if you want to animate, this little button here puts the program into animation mode. Uh, so you can see it's only showing the first position now. And if I go down to the bottom and hit play, it will uh, show these. Now it's moving kind of strangely because I set up a very weird track there. But um, if you set up like a realistic track, it'll come out much better than that um, for the animations. Now if you want to change anything, you have to hit this again to take it out of animation mode. So for example, let me put another track in here. If I wanted to do this in black and white, uh, you can change the colors here. So I could make this boat red, or if I might want to just make this one black, maybe. Make this one gray. Very easy, like that. Um, over along here, the buttons, these are, this button here is to save as. Uh, here is to export an image, so what little one that looks like a still camera. And then this one that looks like a video camera uh, will export a video image. This is to undo and redo changes. So I'm just you know, going back and forth through those changes. Um, apart from that, that's about it. Now if you zoom in and do export image, it will just export what you've got on the screen. Um, so generally when I make a scenario, I'll try and zoom in as close as I can so I can still see everything and then export the image. Uh, I think that's about it.